I heard about a, a logger who still logged with horses and who was looking for a, a helper. His name was Jake Blodgett, and he had a um, had a reputation. He was known as a hard customer of a former uh, whiskey runner and moonshiner without too much regard for the law. So, and Jake told me that um, one night as, as he was bringing the whiskey into Vermont, uh, as he approached um, the village of Coventry and saw lights coming up behind him quickly. And he, he knew that um, they, were, they were flashing lights and he knew that he'd been spotted by the revenuers. So he swung off Route 5 into Coventry Village and head out on uh, a back road between Coventry and, and Irisburg. And on that road to this day, there's a very sharp curve just before a small covered bridge. Well, Jake had a short lead of a few hundred yards on the revenuers and he, he missed the curve and wound up sitting right in the middle of the Black River under the covered bridge. The revenuers didn't see him go off the road. They assumed he'd gone on over the bridge, and so they went over the bridge, down the road, while Jake sat there in the Packard. And eventually, they, not finding him, came back, and they went over the bridge again and came back again, and this took several hours. So I said to Jake, out of curiosity, Jake, what did you do sitting down there in the, in the middle of the river in the car while the revenuers were rattling back and forth over the bridge, and Jake smiled uh, and said to me, well, I, I reached in the back and I found me a bottle of that uh, Seagram's that hadn't broken, and I sit down there in the river and drink the whole thing. This glimpse into Vermont's rich history during Prohibition has been made possible in part by the Vermont Brewers Association and Vermont Home Brew Supply.